hey guys welcome back so after dbms interview tutorial now this time for sql tutorial this sql tutorial is completely based on my learning how i learned sql as i have already told you i am oracle sql fundamental certified with 94% so how i learned sql is completely different way i did not learned it from any website or any youtube channel how youtube channel and other website are teaching is basically i would not prefer that way i attended offline classes offline training and trust me i'm going to teach you in a very different way my road map will be completely different and you will find it very soon so have a look at this lecture and decide did i make you comfortable with sql introduction so in this tutorial we will learn at very high level we will learn each and everything at very high level don't get scared don't get scared guys because it's not required to go into deep dive of every lecture or every topic or every language or every technology or every learning until or unless you are not going to be you until or unless you don't want to be an architect in that so basically i have filtered out so many unnecessary content unnecessary topic which is not required for a beginner which is not required for an intermediate who has no dream to be an architect in sql developer or database so let's get started <laughs> my focus point are diagram or mapping table mapping so basically what happen whenever you are attending any online interview online test online exam for you know companies drive or whether you are working in an organization what happen whenever some requirement comes you have a table mapping you have a class you know you have the architecture of the tables how the tables are interconnected with each with each other so basically the first focus should be on the table table mapping or the diagram which is provided to the you know student for an interview or for the online test so first focus point diagram or table mapping which i'll cover just after few minutes now the second point is problem statement now what your problem statement is saying understand the problem statement properly is it asking for some you know group of student or group of employees who who's, who is uh, you know living in the city bangalore or what is the problem statement is saying now the third point you should focus in which table i can find these rows in which table i can find these rows so th the third third point should be try to find out the table from where you can get your rows now the fourth point should be your business logic now basically you have got the idea from where i am going to fetch what would be the my approach to go to that table if the table is you know i i need to fetch data from two to three table then you will find the path the way to reach those table or to connect those table then you will implement the business logic this is how i learned sql i followed these four step trust me it sounds very difficult this is difficult as of now but it will be very easy when you will come you know you will start solving programming language on now basically how sql statements work so if you are a backend developer if if you have seen my tutorial if you have seen my video on full stack development in full stack development i have covered one point where i have explained the flow diagram the flow of project how a project flows so basically if you have not seen that i will request you you can pause the video you can go ahead and see that watch that video where i have explained how actually the database and your service you know communicate with each other so basically if you are a back end developer then you should have at least a good knowledge on database sql query as well because the sql query what we are writing we are using is it basically in our business logic right this is nothing but a business logic what a business want what are the data it want us to fetch from the database so that's a business logic right so whenever we are triggering any sql statement it is hitting our rdbms 
ओके सो हियर वी हैव आर डी बी एम एस वट इज आर डी बी एम एस वट इज आर डी बी एम एस सर्वर सो इफ यू हैवेंट अटेंड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच माई डी बी एम एस ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज दैट इज ऑल्सो फॉर इंटरव्यू पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड आई हैव कवर्ड ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर यू देन प्लीज गो एड एंड वॉच दैट यू विल गेट टू नो वॉट इज आर डी बी एम एस नाउ द एस क्यू एस स्टेटमेंट हिट्स द आर डी बी एम एस एंड फ्रॉम द आर डी बी एम एस वी गेट द रिजल्ट सो प्रेजेंटली वॉट इट इज आस्किंग सेलेक्ट रीजन नेम फ्रॉम रीजन सो बेसिकली रीजन इज सम टेबल एंड इट वॉन्ट अस टू गिव ओनली द रीजन नेम सो हियर वी हैव द टेबल इन द टेबल वी हैव यूरोप वी हैव अमेरिका एशिया दिस इज द रीजन नेम दैट्स वॉट वी गेट फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस नाउ बेसिकली हाउ वी राइट एन इक्वेरी वी हैव सम सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट वी हैव सम दिस स्टार इज नथिंग बट जस्ट एज ऑफ नाउ यू कैन कंसिडर दिस एज सम रोड्स ओके स्टार मीन्स ऑल द रोड्स ऑल द रोड्स बट हियर लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक वॉट एवर रोड्स वी वॉन्ट टू फर्च आई हैव मार्ड इट एज अ ग्रीन from table now the table we have to think about from which table we have to fetch now at the end we need to think about the business logic now first focus should be first we will before writing any query we'll see how many rows we want to fetch so presently we want to fetch only reason name so after select statement we'll write the number of rows we want to fetch then the second will be the table containing that column so how many column you want to select you want to select only one column that is the reason name then which table is containing that column that table name you have to write maybe there are multiple tables maybe you you want to fetch multiple columns maybe you that columns that multiple com column is coming from multiple table so you will be fetching multiple rows multiple columns from multiple table so basically the from table here we will be writing the logic of some joins some inner join outer join left join what join we have to use to make it work to fetch the data that we will cover it very soon now the third part comes the operations the business logic okay are you want uh, do you want this directly you want to fetch some data or you want to manipulate it like the salary should be greater than 50k fetch the result of the employee whose salary is greater than 50k or fetch the result of employee who are staying in bangalore so staying in bangalore is the logic select employee's name employee's name is a column and from which table employee table who are staying in where bangalore bangalore what is this this is a business logic so this is the way we should write any sql query this is the proper way now don't get scared by see seeing this diagram because this is the diagram i'm talking about and this is the table mapping i'm talking about which everybody should know and everybody should understand i'm not saying understand this table how to create this you know class diagram i'm not saying that my point is just understand this table you there is nothing rocket science in understanding this table you can see here the first table at, at the center is a movie table and the movie table is connected with the movie cast and the movie table is connected with uh, the direction table it is connect it is also connected with movie uh, its ratings and many more right so basically how these tables are connected with each other this is the diagram of that so data flows from table to table or like this way how we we have we have to make the mapping so that the table should be interconnected with each other it should not be independent if the table is some table you have created and it is independent then what is the meaning of that table so you can see here every table is in you know interconnected with each is each other some or other way so basically why i am showing you this diagram because in your drive test placement drive test or your uh, you know in corporation in the world in the it sector whenever you are wherever you are going you you will be either given a mapping or you will be either provided with uh, this uh, you know the diagram so so basically you need to understand the flow 
Now suppose if I ask you, search me the actor name and the director name who has worked together. So what you will do? Here is the actor class. Here is the actor class and here is the director class. So basically what you will do? First identify whether these two, uh, two classes are interconnected with each other. So as you can see, these two classes are not at all interconnected with each other. So basically these classes, how they are connected? They are connected, they are connected with movie cast, then movie, then the movie will come to the movie direction, then movie direction is going to director. So as I, I noticed, right, to go to, to fetch the director and actor, the both, or to club together both the, uh, you know, uh, classes or the both table what I have to do I have to you know go through movie movie cast movie movie direction and director so basically I have to join how, how many table here is the second catch you got to know what are the what are the uh, rows what are the columns you have to fetch ACT underscore i name and dir underscore i name so select atc act at i name comma dir f name okay now the second catch from where from actor actor will be joining with cast cast will be joining with movie movie will be joining with movie director and movie director will be joining with director got my point but which join I should use that's a question so I should have a good knowledge on join so that's what we are going to do in the next next lecture we'll cover the join part now you understood right why we use join because I wanted to fetch the result from actor and director and actor and director are not connected with each other directly so I'm going to use one join and that join will be joining four table at a time not four the actor table one movie cast movie uh, movie direction and director five table it is going to join right now here is the cache like this is a straightforward question just fetch the name of these two and you have to just simply join these there is no business logic like where clause where director is something called or is equal to is equal to there we are not going to implement any operators or operation over here it will be very straightforward join and that join will be giving me the result of act name and dir name so in the next lecture i'll be covering join how to join any tables so this is how i approached while i started learning sql not by going through you know there are so many youtubers they will teach you like what is primary key what is you know alternative key so basically what happens right if you start digging from the very basics so you, you you have started suppose you have started working on the select statement select select start from table so basically what happens uh, while you go into some deep 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 dive there some some things are not required for you to learn or to think much as as an interview point of view or as a corporate world it doesn't require if you are a some back end developer it doesn't require you to know what is candidate key it doesn't require you to know what is alternative key okay but meanwhile you will learn that these because these things are very basic so basically i think that you know what is primary key because by this time by after completing your four year of graduations or i'm assuming or any corporate people if they are working and they are watching this i am assuming that they know what is called primary key so primary key is a key which is unique in any table so if you have watched my dbms tutorial you are very much aware of what is primary key. I don't have to teach you here. So that's why this tutorial will be mostly based on high level and you will get to know very easily how to write the queries and all that stuff. And I'll make you comfortable with all this stuff. Trust me, it's going to be very easy and very straightforward and you will not struggle at all until or unless you are not getting what is join. So the join is somewhere little bit tricky, not much. Trust me, not at all much. The join is not tough and at the end what you have to implement the business logic where you will writing 
where the employee name is equal to is equal to something or salary is greater than something or date range should be this or the number should the grade of person should be between this and this so basically that going to be very easy now one thing i want you to i just take a screenshot of this sql operator i there is nothing to teach in sql operator you are not at all in first year second year third year i'm assuming nobody is in first year second year just take a screenshot and just go through this what is operator what is automatic operator and yeah everybody know what is automatic op operator yeah what is comparison operator who doesn't know what is comparison operator what is bitwise operator means these are very basics here i cannot make a separate video on and i'll start teaching you what is sql operator so this will be a waste of your time and you know my energy as well take a screenshot and just re go through this how many logical operator are there how many automatic op operator are there take a screenshot and you are good to go now the functions how many functions we have in sql we'll cover it while we're doing the questions now we'll cover each and everything and you will learn it it's not at all a rocket science so there is a count function there is a sum function there is a if i thought talk about aggregate function we have sum function we have count function we have max function we have min function these are basically function we have abstract we have cell we have floor we have x mod power square root just take a screenshot whenever it is required make use of it there is nothing to रट्टाफिकेशन रटने वटने का कुछ नहीं करना है और जस्ट हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट इतना डीप में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है इट्स नॉट एट ऑल अ रॉकेट साइंस इफ यू विल फॉलो माय लेक्चर देन यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट टू नो हाउ इजी इट इज टू यू नो टू यू नो अंडरस्टैंड द एस क्यू एल इट्स वेरी इजी ट्रस्ट मी इट्स वेरी इजी सो द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल बी कम्प्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन द ज्वाइंट्स विल कवर वट इज ज्वाइंट्स how many joins are there how to join table so thank you for watching thank you guys hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful for you don't forget to press thumbs up